Hello, welcome back. Last time I learned a cool new mechanic with omplic beams and bump pushing. Then I blundered through a couple of more rooms. It was pointed out that there was a challenge scroll in this room, and I did the challenge, but it was never actually awarded. Let's restore back to the start of this, and try again and see if it will be nice to me this time. Uh... Yes, okay, that's fine. Uh, so I think room start will restore to the first time I entered the room? Probably? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so the solution to this was not terribly complicated once I figured out what it actually was. It was just put that there. Uh, face some direction. Push a throw in here. Step here for a brief moment and then you're done. So then this throw stands here, gets pushed, waits a moment, springs and his job is finished. And also, you gotta stab the wall at the start. <laughs> what a weird little trap to have in there. Yeah, so, um, I definitely did as the scroll described and did not place the decoy on anywhere on the pressure plate. But somehow it thought I did. Or some other condition did not trigger. Yeah. Do not place the decoy on the pressure plate. I didn't. Decoy definitely was not on the pressure plate. Room is clear. Challenge does not award. Okay. Why? I can't see the description for any of these about whether it completes the challenge or not. Here we go. The player completed a challenge. So what did you do, disoriented? That was... What? Okay, somehow I didn't think of entering from the south. Oh. What is this? Okay. Okay. So this challenge is scripted wrong. It doesn't check for what it describes. It checks to see if you just did a completely different route through the room. Entering from the south and... Okay. Well, all right. You know what? I completed the challenge as described. I deserve that challenge. I didn't get it. Um, that's the other way to do the room. <laughs> anyway, Jeebus, what on the eighth is this contraption? Solve this printing pressure plates a total of 18 times. Oh no. Is this lights out? Yes, it is. Of course it is. Why do I have to play lights out in every... Well, I say in every game I play. It's been a while since something has asked me to do this. All right. Uh, let's do this for a while. And be miserable about it. It's not that I really particularly hate the action of playing lights out. It's just that, like... What it boils down to is not something that I find particularly interesting. And there are some weird fiddly techniques uh, in solving this that don't really make sense, but usually those are like if you have a, a strict move limit. If I just mess around and fiddle with it for a while, I can usually just, you know, make something work. Oh, you're gonna be so awkward to get out of there, huh? Can I engineer a way to make you disappear using... Well, this is just making a big mess. Alright, so if you exist like that, now I have this, then I have that. Okay, nothing has really helped. Ah, but I can move it over like that, kind of. Kind of. See, there's like this whole diagonal line that I'm tracing here. If I want to move it over this way... Yeah, now I'm all the way up in this corner. Okay, so I can do that and make this disappear. Cool, but... And of course there's a challenge. Now I'm right back to where I was a moment ago. Yeah, see, like, I have read about the theory of solving Lights Out puzzles in small numbers of moves. It's complete nonsense. You know, it's like Rubik's Cube solving. You know, you memorize these weird little flips that are completely arcane and are not something that you'd really derive from just looking at the solution, or, or sorry, just looking at the state of the puzzle, unless you have memorized 
this arcane magic that can transform, you know, this into a solved puzzle. And if this is expecting 18 presses, okay, so I'm not getting this challenge. Not in any way going to try for that. Let's go row by row. Can I eliminate all the lights on one row before moving to the next? Let's see how far that gets me. That gets me to this state with five on the bottom. Okay. Well, I reduced it to two, but they're way out in the middle. And I have no good looking moves here. So obviously I have to squish things against the edges to eliminate them fully. But see, when I'm down to just one, what does that even mean? Couldn't tell, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Well, yeah, I'm just, just putting myself back to this state. Great. And if I attempt to squish this down, it spreads out horizontally because all I have is the, uh, those. Um, yes, I do need them all open to walk through here. Okay, I'm back to that state. So right, my process here is non-terminating. So I guess I need a different one. Is that better somehow? I don't know if I improved anything. No, I'm right back to where I was. Okay. If I've done that... And then I try to, like, squish these against something else. All this is going to do is boil down to the same thing again. As always. Alright, let's try going outward orthogonally and see if I can squish these against an edge somehow. Well, now I have that. And this. Now all I have is a big mess. <sighs> well, <laughs> if I could rotate this 45 degrees, wouldn't that be nice? That's not a thing I can do though. Well, I moved this up a row. If I could have moved it down a row instead, then it would be gone. Oh, I moved it up and over, so. I don't know if that means anything. Probably doesn't. It changed. I did actually affect a change here, so now this is off. So that is different. I lost one somehow, compared to how I was before. See, I don't know if I lost one so much as just kind of moved the problem around. So are you seriously asking me to derive the technique of solving lights out just to do this puzzle? Like, hey, here's a Rubik's Cube in your draw room. Figure out the arcane magic that Rubik's Cube solvers use to do what they do. See you in a week. Maybe you'll have gotten slightly closer then. Well, I rotated it. It's up here now instead of down there. Okay, let's go back to the base state. 18 times. Like, this is an 18 steps away from solution state here. This is a secret room. I'm walking out of this. Never mind. You are going to stay unsolved forever. If this hold has post-mastery, I'm not seeing it. 
What a garbage thing to put in your drawed hold. Like, don't do this. Seriously. Ever. <laughs> I may be being slightly hyperbolic here, but boy, there's just no pleasure whatsoever to be had here. <laughs> Why would you do this? Okay, um, so, hey, roaches, you're gonna come out. Uh, rattlesnake is here. What's the point of any of this? Am I not completely safe standing there? Just stand here and kill things. Wait. Oh, it turns off its own arrows. I see. So Rattlesnake needs to protect me. Alright. Well, we can get it coiled around until I actually hit the thing. Yeah, well, sorta. Um... Here, get yourself stuck. You did. Okay, I think I solved the room. I survived the onslaught, and I'm pretty sure that was all I really needed to do here. Other than kill the monsters at the end. Okay. <laughs> what a pair of rooms that is. <laughs> There's like a little mostly nothing combat room, you know, find a... Wait, this room is unsolved? Oh, I walked away from it in the unsolved state. Ah. <laughs> well, this recording session's a disaster. All right, fine. You know what? Just so I can have the challenge filled out, I guess I'll do this the weird, tricky way. So you take away the staff token, and then you, what, awaken the evil eyes, and there's a sword there, so now you can escape. Just make sure he doesn't... Get in there, I guess. Okay. Well, I have the challenge now, and the thing is solved now. That's a checkpoint, and a force arrow, and a... Sword token. No, a staff token. It's a sword token now, because I put my sword down there. Okay. Uh, so this is my killing mechanism for everything, apparently. So I'll have a rattlesnake and a construct. The rattlesnake's tail position will need to be reconfigured repeatedly here. Uh, it may be in such a way that it can go on the floor spikes right now. It may not be. Also, I have a construct to deal with the whole time. Uh, so this means... If I... Would I run you across here? Uh, I'm gonna need the adder for this, I think. Alright, I got a stab. But now because that changed the tail position's even odd status, I now need you to stop for a turn. Stopping you for a turn is going to mean you with the construct somewhere around a wall or something somewhere? Also, construct. Dude, just stop. One, two, three. Yeah, so odd number of steps away from the spikes. So on a... If I put you in a corner, there's another type of corner here. One, two, three, four, five away... Okay, so if I put your head in a corner here, the tail would be one, two, three away. And then that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six away. Even number. Okay, so I, if I trap you in that corner, it'll fix your problem, but I probably want the other kind of corner later. So I'll do this. Construct will wake up and Rattlesnake will be realigned. 
Now, as for the adder, its alignment will never change. Okay. You smashed, you go away. You just need to run over that at the appropriate time, which means four away from... Okay, so that means at 60, and I want your head to be on the spikes. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. You're being very aggressive. Okay, so that means then at... Um, 26, I want your head over there. Okay, that looks a little more doable. Mm, no, I'm off by one. No, I'm, I'm on. Okay, great. So now let's use one of these corners, right? So head here, tail, one, two, away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Even number, okay? Uh, construct needs to be rubbleified, though. Okay. Uh, south corners are not too convenient for that, but they're doable, probably. Southwest, sure. Let's choose the worst possible corner. Let's do southeast. It's a little better. Um, construct not going to stay dead for long enough, but I can just keep it stunned, I guess? You're currently vertical, but you're about to switch to horizontal at the wrong time. Okay. Let's try again, I guess. Alright, so you, stay close to me. Vertical, okay. Horizontal... There isn't really enough time to do this. So what, I'm gonna be doing it with a live construct? That sounds terrible. Yeah, but I'm on the wrong side of the construct. Why are you doing that? Because you're vertical, of course you are. Alright, so... Uh, I'd probably... Um, <laughs> I would say I'd probably be having more fun here if my mood wasn't ruined by lights out. But I'm not sure that's true. Alright, I want you to die on a 30. Would this corner work? Because that's much more convenient. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Okay. Let's do that one instead. It'll be a lot easier. Just just be a little different somehow. Why do you have to be like this? Everything. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'd be less grumpy than this if my mood wasn't ruined by lights out. Uh, rattlesnake, go away for a moment. You have no business with me right now. We'll, we'll play later, but not now. Go away. Go away. Go away. Construct, you go away too. Why would you do this? Why any of this? There. Okay. Construct is crushed. For a brief moment. Let's get him crushed again here. Okay, yeah. So here's what I can do. I can leave him on the floor spikes. Until that perfect time. Stick him in the corner now. Have the maximum amount of time to get the rattlesnake where it needs to go. There. Okay. You're realigned. You, be smashed. 
Still got to do this one more time after this. All right, you're gone. You need to run over at a turn ending in seven, I think. One of those is coming up. I missed it. So right here, your head needs to go over that. You're currently horizontal. Nothing's helped by this situation. No, I missed it by a lot. Exterminate. And now the construct's back! Great! Okay, how about this? What if I just leave the construct on the floor spikes until I've aligned the rattlesnake in such a way that its head will go over them at the appropriate time? That's probably the most reasonable way to go here. So I want you... Let's see, if you were doing this, you would be there two turns too early. So I'd have to go like south one more and then north, and then I wouldn't have time. That still looks wrong though. I think I'm just miscounting. Because your head would be there at 26. This segment at 27, this segment at 28. Okay, I'm off by two, still. So I actually want to turn ending in... 8. Okay. So I'll pull you north two more first. I said two more. I said two more, but I can only have one or three. Okay. Fine. Ending in eight. So you would need to go away for a moment, then come back. Then come back. Okay. I think this can do it. I might be wrong. I'm not. Okay. Now you need to be cornered again. Conceptually, this is kind of cool. To actually play, though, it's kind of miserable. I need to delay you by one turn, a thing that I cannot do. Good. Yeah, see, you're off by one. You need to be realigned. And of course I have this situation, and with a too long rattlesnake, it's a little harder to manipulate than in other length variants. There, you're smashed. Okay, where am I putting you? In this corner, I think. You're aligned pretty well for that right now. So it feels encouraging that I might be able to just get you in there like that. Perfect, okay. So that's done. No other option is, if I didn't have these two convenient northeast corners here, that have opposite um, chess colors, uh, which you can't see because this is all sand, but you know, one, one of these squares is white, one of them is black. Uh, if I only had black squares or only had white squares, the other option would be to shove the construct remains out of the way on an odd-numbered turn allowing the rattlesnake to move without the construct having to wake up. But this way seems to work just fine. Well, the inconvenient happened again. Hey look, it's still off by one. How about now? Still off by one. No, I can fix it. Okay. Oh, right, and the rattlesnake's realigned, by the way. Um, so... Get it in position. It's not actually in position, but maybe I can improvise something good here. So horizontal, send north. A little more. Come over here, and maybe you're right. I think you are. There we go. Rattlesnake's dead. 
Now, Adder. Uh, Adder will eat the Construct if I let it. First thing I want to know, what is your alignment? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's wrong, so you do need to be realigned. Alright. Uh, but you're going to eat the Construct. So what, I have to keep the Rattlesnake around to realign the Adder? Really? Yeah, and if I trapped you in the corner with your own tail, you would spend two turns eating it, and then come out at length three and be on the same... alignment. So I have to keep the rattlesnake around to realign the adder. Yuck. Well, at least I can eat the construct now. So I'll only have two pests following me. Oh boy, lucky me. Only two pests. In an empty square... I need to get the... Adder to be blocked by the Rattlesnake for one turn. Hold on, that's false. Because you ate the Construct, you grew by a, by a turn. Uh, meaning that... Um, if I put you in the corner after this, then you will spend an odd number of turns eating your tail. And therefore, position yourself correctly for this. Okay. Wait. Exterminate. Or somehow you're already correct? Wait, did I miscount? You landed on those floor spikes. Six. No, the circling, that's an even number of... Okay, I don't know what's going on, but your head happens to be in the right place right now, so... Um, I guess I'll just be happy with that. Can't quite do it because you're going to go this way. Alright, well, at least you're aligned correctly. Will this do it? No, you need one more, and then you're going to continue north because you're on vertical preference at that point. Great. And then you're going to go east because you don't like to go west. Great. Okay, so this little jog should be the right number. It's not. Okay, so this little jog should be the right number. Yes, and then I can do that. Okay. Yeah, I can just lead you around a little more directly than I have been. Well, I kind of can. Kind of. Okay, that was indirect, but it worked. I'm sure there's an easy repeatable pattern in here somewhere, but I don't know it. Um, so this is how I'm doing it. Okay, so you're horizontal now. All right, I think I'm kind of on the easy repeatable pattern. Uh, you would need to go... No, you'd need to go differently for that to work. If you go a little farther out, then when you switch to vertical, I go over here. Then you go this way, this way, this way, this way, and you're dead. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, this room has nothing in it. So, are there more rooms here? I mean, there must be, because I didn't see level clear. Yeah, no, this room doesn't exist. There's just a blank space there. Okay, so there's one here. It's another secret. What? Invisibility potion? <laughs> okay, this looks silly. And another real room here. All right. So... So... Let's not talk about what happened today. I'll look forward to playing this room, and this one looks kind of fun, maybe too. Those are the only other two rooms that exist in the level. Then I'll move on to something else. All right, cool. I'll see you then.